know a lot of nurses I and mean, just being in the healthcare industry. I had one, for example, that uh, she told me that uh, she got a travel nursing assignment and just kept extending it. And doctors, uh, nurses, they're, they're human beings. They talk and they were in the hallways and she, they started talking about compensation. Um, whether they're supposed to or not, that's not for me to say, but they're human beings and they do. And even the doctors said, oh my gosh, you're making more than we are. And it was, um, and she was just talking about the stress that she has to deal with on a day in and day out basis. And she said, look, as soon as, you know, that's kind of taken away from me, I probably might just quit and go elsewhere <laughs> and do something else. So I, I think there is um, a lot to say with, you know, the, compensation has greatly uh, increased um, and so I think if that were to correct itself I think you're going to see a bit of a shortage um, but also there's there's a few other factors from a society perspective I mean uh, nurses are really I mean they're in the trenches with patients and from a society standpoint I think there's a lot of behavioral health issues um, that have always been around I think the pandemic really expedited all of it and nurses are in front of those patients that can get, that are going through a lot right now, just I'll put it nicely there, which adds to the stress. And um, I do know from a, maybe a solution, I know we do have some social determinants of health uh, analytics out there. Perhaps it could help with some of that. Um, and it's the other factor too of remote working. I have a friend who's a nurse, uh, runs in her family and I know her family and her um, her mom reached out to me. She's been in nursing for like 30 years. Asked her, you know, where I was at. And I said, you know, I relocated. I work remotely. And she goes, oh my gosh, Jake, I just, I would kill to work remotely. I, I, I just would kill for that. You know, I'm just so exhausted. Um, so perhaps there is a way that some of these systems can start looking at remote working. Um, I know a mid-level provider who told me that he only goes in once a week. Uh, he goes in um, Wednesdays and on Mondays and Fridays, he works remotely, just doing a lot of the orders, um, just literally on his couch. So perhaps it can't, you know, these health systems can maybe start looking across the board from the remote standpoint. It goes into the data analytics as well. I had customers at Aggregate go, we can't get data analysts and save devices as well. So I think there's a lot of factors. Um, I think when it comes to the remote working, you know, again, providers, they're human beings, they have friends and family that during this pandemic have, are all working remotely. And I think sometimes they say, well, we'd like that too. So is there a way to find that? I think with technology, I think there is, um, but there will always be the society and cost component that I think no one really has a true answer for, but there are ways to harness the technology to help.